Welcome to a 3commas.io tutorial. I am here to share with you a wonderful tool used for trading cryptocurrencies. 3commas.io has really made my whole crypto cryptocurrency experience better. They support accounts on Bittrex, Bitfinex, Binance, and Polonex. It is very easy to use interface with a modern design. Why use it? Well, you can plan a stop loss and a take profit in the same click. This is extremely beneficial. In most exchanges, you can only set one or the other, leaving your funds exposed either to dumps or possibly missing out on profits. Now that you use three commas, you will never have to worry about that. <clears throat> Let's get into the functions of how we're able to set a take profit and a stop loss as well as explore trailing options. A trailing stop loss and a trailing take profit are used to gain even more control over token management automatically. From here out, I assume that you have a basic understanding of stop loss and profit targets. If not, I would recommend researching those simple concepts now. Trailing does what the name suggests. It trails price increases. If you decide to use trailing stop loss, when your token raises in price, so does your stop loss. Here on their website, they show an example. Let's take a look at that. So if you buy $100 of Ether and you set a stop loss at $90, and the next day, your $100 turns into 102 Your stop loss will move up to $91.80. Soon after, uh, the price goes to $105. Automatically, your stop loss increases again to $94.50. Now, the next day, we have a correction down to $101. Your stop loss stays at $94.50 uh, relative to its last high. Okay. Uh, right down here we have an interactive thing. If we watch the price increase, our stop loss also increases as the price does. Now, when the price starts to decrease, the stop loss stays where uh, it was initially set after the last high. Now, if the coin eventually dumps or just uh, just crashes really hard, your, your stop loss will trigger and you will have made profit um, automatically without touching a thing. So... Um, Next we have trailing take profit and this is probably my favorite feature. Here when you set a trailing take profit you choose how much room you want to give to the fluctuation of the coin. This is so you won't miss out on major rises because you might have set your take profit too low. I buy a coin X for a hundred dollars and put take profit at a hundred and fifty with a trailing profit of five percent. When my coin reaches $150, my trailing take profit will trigger. Now, if the current price decreases by 5%, it will sell and take profit. But if the coin keeps rising, it won't sell until it falls 5% from the current high. This is great to ride pumps and other reasons a coin might shoot higher than uh, you originally put your take profit target. To, uh, to get you going quick, we will begin with the registration. In the description below, you will find my referral link. Please use it as a courtesy to me to helping for, for helping you discover this gem. All right, so here we are. Uh, go to 3commas.io or click on the referral link. And go to the corner and click Login. We're going to go to Register. Enter in your email. and a secure password. Then you're going to hit register. I'm just going to log in over here. Now you're inside your account. Let's take a look at the interface. Um, the dashboard. If you look at the side column here where we are in the dashboard tab, the dashboard keeps you up to date on information regarding your exchange accounts, features of the program, today's income, current price of Bitcoin and Ether, as well as top performing currencies and tokens. In the top right corner, you will notice your email. You will also see $10 as your three commas fee balance. They reward new users with $10 of free credits to pay the fees associated with creating smart trades and smart sells. This should last you a bit. Think of it as a free trial run with no money up front. You will come to find these fees to create the smart trades and smart sells are very cheap. So uh, moving on to Copy Trading Bot. Copy Trading Bot is a feature that will be added soon where you can follow it and automatically copy trades from the most successful traders. I think this is going to be very cool. Smart Trades. 
here is where we can set our buys trailing stop loss and stop loss trailing take profit or just take profit we will be returning here in a moment the trader diary the trader diary saves a record of all smart trade conclusions as well as an option for manual entries of trades made off of three commas it's an excellent feature to get an overview of your trading track record next is portfolios portfolios is an alpha feature where you can look at other people's portfor portfolios and live and see live statistics of how that portfolio is performing you can also submit your own for others to see okay now that we have run through the basics the next step is to set up a connection to our exchange each exchange three comma supports uses access points using API keys API keys are an application program interface key it is a code passed in by computer programs calling an application programming interface to identify the calling program its developer or its user to the website basically it's kind of a backdoor entrance where we can control uh, what happens to the funds inside of that exchange account uh, but it's very secure so when you set or obtain your API keys in your exchange you can set what permissions the interface has uh, many of the options are read info, trade limit, trade market, withdraw. I allow all of them except withdraw. I only want to be able to withdraw fr funds from inside the exchange itself. In this example, I will be setting up a Binance account. The instructions should be nearly identical to all other exchanges. First, let's go to the top right corner and click on our email from the drop down. From the drop down, we can see a couple more options. Click on the My Exchanges and then Connect to New Exchange. Now, here, we can give our exchange connection a name. In my case, I will call it Aluad Binance. Next, I will change the account type to Binance Account. And now you will see it is asking for API key and API secret. To get these keys, we must sign on to our exchange and visit the settings. Here, I'm going to sign into my Binance account that I'd like to connect. Log in, enter email. Get my Google authentication ready. It's renewing. Submit. Now this will take us to the home page. You can also get there by clicking this uh, little person symbol and clicking on account. And uh, here you can see your API keys and a quick description of what they are. I click on API setting and I'm going to give it a descriptive name of three comma API API access. And I'm going to click create key and enter my Google authentication. Now I have access to my API keys. As you can see, you have the options like I was saying earlier. You have read info, uh, enable trading, and enable withdrawals. I do not have enable withdrawals um, selected, so it will not have that capability. I'm going to copy the API key and paste it over here in three commas. I'm also going to grab the secret. I will be deleting these so you guys won't have access to it, but for demonstration purposes. API secret. And from here, we can click Create Account. And now we can see that my balance is updated at the top, which means that it has successfully connected. After uh, this, we can go to the dashboard and see my exchange account and a summary of what coins I'm holding, the percentage of coins that I'm holding, um, as well as the, cur the current balance and things like this. You can also refresh it here when need be. Next, I'm going to show you how to set a smart trade and a smart sell. First, let's start with a smart trade. On the left side menu, I click on Smart Trade. 
here in the middle of the screen you can see that I have two options smart trade and smart sell smart sell is used for tokens you already own in your exchange account we will come back to smart sell in a moment I use smart trade to buy a specific coin when it dips below a certain price after I buy it I want it to automatically assign a stop loss and to take profit to my newly acquired coins here is one of my signals I'm going to use for my example I'm going to buy BCPT at or under 7800 and as soon as my buy order fills I want a take profit and a stop loss to be set so first I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the smart trade tab in the middle next I'm gonna go up to the trading pair and search for, and search for BCPT I want to sell it for Bitcoin so I'm gonna choose the BTC underscore BCPT pair I'm gonna set where I want to buy it at which is around 7800 and I only want to buy about 50 percent uh, of what I have uh, worth of BTC in my account. I'm gonna buy 50 percent and that's where I'm gonna sell my first target. So my first target is 9,000. You can just drag this if you'd like or you can type it in as well. And I'm gonna set my stop loss to 7,200. Now I have the option to set a trailing stop loss but my first target is so close to the current price that I don't need to have the stop loss trailing. I am, although, going to set a trailing take profit of about 3%. Here on the right hand side, you can see and make sure that the trailing uh, check mark is, is checked, and then you can choose uh, the percentage you want to allow of deviation. I am going to do 3%, and that looks good to me. So I'm going to click Create and confirm. I have just made my first smart trade. Uh, a buy order has been placed on Binance and it says that it will buy it uh, under or at 7800 and it will automatically set the stop loss take profits and trailing take profits that I had uh, agreed upon before making it. Now I have another target so I'm gonna buy some more and set it the the other 50 percent I, I buy for uh, my second target so I'm still in BTC BCPT I'm in the smart trade I'm gonna do 100 percent and I'm going to uh, make sure my stop loss is correct again 7200 and we're going to do my next target which will be 99 So now that my uh, now that my second target is nine nine, I'm uh, shooting for a twenty six percent profit. Because I'm I'm gaining more profit, I'm going to allow for more deviation um, when I reach that point, just in case it's going to really shoot up. And I'll go with an eight percent, which might be kind of high, but um, I think I think it might work out. So from there, everything looks good. And I'm, you know what? I'm also going to do trailing just because uh, if we get up to 9.8 and she starts going down again, I want it to catch at some point. So we will create and confirm. So I think that will be good. And uh, let's move on to smart sell. Next, we are going to set sell conditions for coins I already own. I will click on the smart sell and search for the coin that I would like to set a contract for. Here I have a longer term hold and I will be holding lend. Because it is a longer term hold, I will be selling at a much higher target and I will also set trailing stop loss to increase as the price does. I go up to trading pair and I search for lend. I want to sell it for Bitcoin, so I'm going to click on the BTC underscore Len pair. From here, I'm going to set the amount of units in the middle that I want to sell. I'll just do the maximum for now, and next I'm going to set my take profit. My take profit is going to be at around 2000 Because I have uh, such a high profit, 
that I'm shooting for, I'm going to allow an 8% deviation, hoping again that we go for a bigger rise. Next, I'm going to set my stop loss, which will be at 1115. and make sure trailing is clicked. Now I will, everything looks good, so I'm going to click Create and Confirm. And it has been set. Now, all of this will trigger on the conditions I set for it. Once it either sells for the stop loss or takes profit, it will show up as a record in your Trader Diary tab. You can also track your gains or losses through the dashboard. Once you have eaten through your initial free $10 fee balance, you can add more money to your balance by clicking on your email in the top right corner, clicking Balance, and clicking on the currency of your choice that you would like to use to add funds to your fee balance. In this example, I'm going to send $10 worth of Litecoin from a Coinbase account. To start, I'm going to click on the $10 using LTC option below. Important. Each payment has an individual address, so after you generate it, pay within one hour and don't use this address in the future. Make sure you send the exact amount and be careful about transfer fees when sending. From here, it will give me the exact amount I need to pay and an address to pay it to. I will copy the address and move over to my Coinbase account. Just lowering this so you guys won't see my identity. I will click on the account and scroll down to my Litecoin wallet and click Send. I paste the address provided from three commas here. And I will go back to three commas to copy the amount needed to send. Paste that right here. And Coinbase will automatically add the network fee onto the total so I will continue but make sure you check the amount that will be received and make sure it is the same that is desired by three commas every exchange and application can be different alright so I will now enter the code they're gonna send me and click confirm Sometimes they send you two numbers, it's kind of weird. All right, it's on its way, and I will cut out the video until it arrives. And it has arrived. Now your balance will show 10 plus dollars. Go spend your newly acquired balance on the convenience of smart trade and smart sell. Well, this concludes the short tutorial on setting up a 3 commas account, setting up your exchange, sending funds to your balance, and creating our first smart trades and smart sells. I am eternally grateful that you used my reference code and took the time to learn about this amazing application. Thanks again.